Are you struggling in X Defiant? Well, I got five tips to help you improve instantly. First off, we're going to be tackling movement. Now, this is one of the most important things in X Defiant. And obviously, it's something that you need to practice. But to start, we need to make sure we have the right settings. You're going to want to make sure you have crotch behavior on hold and make sure you turn on auto sprint. This alone is going to make your movement so much better because you no longer have to click in your stick to sprint. But as soon as you just move forward, it automatically puts you in a full sprint sprint which is going to make you go faster on the map it's going to make you react quicker it's going to allow you to hit some more movement and just be more fluid pair this you're going to make sure your threshold is on five that's going to make it more responsive make sure your sprint reload behavior is off because when you're sprinting around you want to be able to reload which is a cool mechanic that they have on this game so you do not want to disable that because if you sprint and it cancels the reload then you won't have that fluid movement and gameplay so definitely have that off make sure your slide is on tap that means as soon as you click it, it automatically slides. And make sure your auto grab ledge is off. With these settings, you're going to be a little bit more fluid, a little bit quicker. But we are missing one more thing. You're going to want to go to your controller settings and go to your dead zones. And for your left stick, which is the stick that you obviously use to move and move your character, you're going to want to make sure you put it all the way down to one. This is going to make your controller just be more reactive and quicker. So it will make your movement even better. And that brings me to tip number two. Use these two specific movements the most when you're playing the game and i do this all the time when i'm running around the map one it's going to be the slide cancel now slide canceling is very easy to do you just slide jump and then aim in but you don't even have to aim in you can use this movement just to maneuver around the map so slide jump slide jump slide jump kind of like if you're potentially anticipating someone but you don't fully commit to like you know the pre-aim or about to aim in but you slide jump around the map that way when you do slide cancel around a corner and if there is somebody there you're ready for the gunfight you're ready to slide cancel and aim in and take them out but this is also going to be the number one way to engage in gunfights slide canceling is so effective because of the movement itself so you can usually catch your opponents off guard and obviously take them out this movement doesn't take too much skill to practice and to do but obviously using it at the right time is really where you're gonna have to work on it so when you're running around the map make sure to slide cancel engage in a lot of gunfights this way you can even run forward and as soon as you're about to see someone or as soon as you see with someone you automatically go into the slide jump and aim in and that also goes hand to hand with the jump straight so in this game you can actually strafe mid air which is really 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 op and really good it's more of an advanced mechanic but once you get it down and understand how to do it it's actually fairly simple and the reason this movement is so good it's one it's kind of hard to track the movement is so fast for some reason in x defined in this game people tend to lose aim assist when you're mid air so if you do like a crazy jump straight they tend to lose a little bit of aim assist and they tend to kind of like it's very hard to track it's so quick and usually i've won gunfights where i'm one shot or like i should have died but i end up winning it because of how effective it is so basically Basically, the best way to do the jump strafe is you're going to want to go again with a slide cancel. You slide, jump, and as soon as you're mid-air, instead of just like kind of sitting there and just kind of aiming in and shooting, you can strafe side to side. You can hit a one side really hard, a left really hard, a right really hard. You can even do a little juke of left, right really quickly. And it's fairly simple to do. Once you get the hang of it, you'll understand it more. It's kind of a timing mid-air. So you definitely want to be abusing this movement and use it as much as you can. And this is a great way to check around corners and clear the map. And that brings me to tip three. This one alone will help you win more gunfights. It's called Peeker's Advantage, and you've probably heard it in Call of Duty or CSGO or maybe some other video games. But basically, Basically, what this is when you jump around a corner when you kind of get the jump start on your opponent you kind of get that like first reaction on your screen when you but you technically see them first by like you know half a second but that's all it takes to win the gunfight right because now you get the first shot now you get one bullet in quicker and that's going to give you the advantage to win gunfights and you tend to see you know players who aren't that maybe skilled or more casual they'll sit around it's like a sitting duck or just kind of stand somewhere kind of pre-aim and they lose the gunfight they're like i, I saw him first i shot first the thing is people are not understanding is when a very skilled player jumps around a corner really quickly and gets that camera breaks that camera and gets that first shot they have the advantage the odds of them winning the gunfight are higher and they are probably going to take you out unfortunately because that's just the way video games work so there's various ways to do this you can jump around corners so you can definitely jump shot around corners you can slide cancel around corners this movement is so fast and so effective and the trick to this as well is when you're jumping around a corner or you're slide canceling around a corner kind of pre-fire the pre-aim so if there's someone around that corner you're already like your crosshairs 
your red dot is basically already on them so all you basically will get first shot almost every single time this alone is very effective and this is something you see the best players in the world do uh breaking people's cameras really trying to get that peekers advantage and definitely there's a little bit more to it so usually some games you know you could be left uh hand dominant or right hand dominant and by you i mean your character your faction so basically right hand is sometimes better so if you come in from the right side you technically get more of an advantage even with already breaking their camera so this is very effective you definitely want to learn how to do this and put it in your gameplay and this is one huge tip that i can tell you that would change your world tip number four it's going to be a very important one and it's going to be change these settings aka your aim settings so this game alone from like the default settings i don't know how it's built how they created this game it's a little wonky the settings the aim the aim assist everything feels a little wonky especially if you have the default settings on right now so i need you to change your settings into the ones i'm using and then you can make some you know a little bit of some adjustments if you feel like it's too fast or maybe too slow or you know whatever it may be but uh, this is a very good place to start this alone will help your aim tremendously so let's hop on with the aim response curve type i use reverse s curve which is like dynamic uh basically in call of duty and for me it's the best like in terms of like snappiness and like kind of like you can slow down and speeds up and it slows down again you can have that like snappy precise aim obviously some people would still use standard i really wouldn't recommend standard on this game uh linear is also pretty good there's some people trying a linear there's some people that play on it they're, they're doing pretty well but so that's another thing you can kind of experiment with but i really do feel like reverse s curve is a great place to start and again you know you're gonna have to make some adjustments but definitely switch to that i am on 60 60 sensitivity 60 60 might feel a little fast for you so you can go down to maybe 50 50 but i do like the high sense in this game i do feel like sometimes you need to turn around really quickly and the way this game is made again it feels like you need to go quickly it feels like you know the the senses don't feel that fast so you have to kind of turn them up a little bit my low zoom is on 0 0.80 with 60 60 if you're going down to 50 50 i probably recommend a 0 0.9 the upping that ads sense a little bit again you know sometimes it's just personal preference maybe you guys like the slower ads you know that's just something you would have to work on and practice your aim with but i play on 60 60 0.80 and that's just what i've been used to uh, obviously my left stick's on one like i said earlier the right stick dead zone i wouldn't really recommend anything higher than five it's good having more control of your right stick and your aim because especially the way the game was created like i said earlier and how the aim feels the lower the dead zone usually the better and probably the better your aim is going to be i have it on four right now i've been experimenting with like three to four it's usually if you have a higher sense up in the dead zone can help maybe counter that fast sense a little bit just a slight counterage so that's why i personally uh, have it on four i was on three previously but then i upped my sense a little bit so don't go higher than five probably a range between two to four and then my aim acceleration speed is on 1.5 x 1.50 this is basically when you're moving your character you know left to right accelerates and goes very fast and this is also goes on top of your sensitivity so the reason this is pretty good is like i said again to turn left and right up and down whatever it may be this game feels a little slow so the aim acceleration speed basically helps you you know turn quickly if you need to turn quickly and it doesn't affect you when you're ads it's only when you're you know hit fired and i like it personally some people don't like the aim acceleration speed i've definitely dabbled with it and without it and i think after doing a lot of you know different things i think i like it the most with it on and it's again because like i'm allowed to kind of mess with my sensitivity and the aim acceleration speed helps me get that fast sense without having to play on a super high sense for me to like counteract that slow feeling so that's what it's been really working for me and i've been absolutely loving it you probably feel like a lot better on these settings and again if it feels a little too fast just adjust them a little bit and for tip number five let's talk about the factions a little bit i'm going to be giving one tip per faction aka five tips for number five now they all have special abilities there's pros and cons with these characters but i really want to help you guys learn something that can help you you know play the faction better so libertad a lot of you guys don't know this or maybe some of you do already but when you heal when you click l2 or l1 whatever your heal button is and you heal basically as your health is going up and people are shooting at you it still regens as long as you don't hit 100 once you hit that 100 threshold once you go back to full health the extra heal no longer 
applies. Why is this good? Well, obviously, if you get a kill and you get your one shot and you both, you know, you hit the heal and you're slowly healing back up and you know someone's about to challenge you, you can definitely time it where that heal is going to benefit you. Obviously, you want to wait, wait to get some of your health back. Don't just code like a maniac unless you have to. You know, sometimes you have no choice. But, you know, wait till you start getting some health back. That way you don't just insta die. And as soon as they start shooting you, you're at, you know, kind of a little bit high health and it drops, but it just keeps going back up. And it's a great way to win that extra gunfighter too and really throws people off guard. And let's talk about the cleaners passive, the fire bullets. This thing is actually very underrated and for a lot of reasons. But the main reason why is like there's guns, for example, that require three shots to kill somebody. Let's say it does 49 damage, 49 damage per bullet, which is 98. And, you know, you have 100 HP. So there's two damage left, just two, two HP left, but it takes a whole extra bullet to take them out. Well, with the fire rounds, it does two, I think two damage per tick. It hits them for like three ticks. So basically it does six damage within, you know, one, two seconds. I don't know exact numbers, but, you know, essentially is when you shoot those two bullets, they're dead before you even shoot a third one. They're dead. It's, it's a two bullet kill. And that's a big difference. That's a huge difference in games that you got to kill them fast. So it's pretty interesting. It gets a little complex with the numbers and you definitely can, you know, mess around with the attachments to kind of help you with that. But uh, that's something you should definitely know. Let's talk about the Phantom. 120 base health. Pretty nice. But what's really good too is the shield. This shield that you get to throw around the map can block a lot of damage and help you win some crazy gunfights. This is the shield that you should be using offensively and defensively. Obviously, like sometimes I know I'm about to push a team and in 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 occupy in a point or like whatever it is. And I pre-fire. You want to pre-fire the shield because you're getting ready for that engagement. So there's two ways to use this. Obviously, you just got to kill, you know, pop it, boom. You don't want to die defensively. Maybe someone pushes you, you get a free kill. But also you can use this in an aggressive manner. You know, if you think you're about to fight somebody or fight multiple people or you're trying to push a hill, just shoot it by the hill. And that way you can help, you know, take the people on the hill out and they're going to be like, wow. I stood no chance. Echelon, one of the most OP factions. It's one of my favorite. I think it's one of the best. Something really cool about the Vision Pulse. I call it the Vision Pulse, where basically it pings everyone around in a certain area and you basically get walls, wall hack. It's nice. But, you know, there's two things to note about it. So, first of all, if someone else has an Echelon character or a faction just like you, well, it doesn't ping them. So, that's something you have to be mindful of. It will not ping them on the map, on you. You know, it doesn't point them out. You still can see them, but you have to be looking in the direction. So, when you use it, and especially if they have Echelon on their team, make sure it's not seeking them behind you. Make sure you're ready for that fight. But also, something to note that sometimes people don't pay attention is basically the red dots will appear on the mini map when you use this. And that's obviously very good information because it's like a mini uav so you definitely need to be looking at your mini map as well dead sec for the last one the spider is op it makes people rage it makes me rage that's the one thing in this game that makes me rage a little bit but you want to use this to obviously push and get free kills this is pretty like self-explanatory but this thing is very good and you want to throw it down and just start pushing with it just run with it it's gonna go you know crawl to people and just start stunning them and it's free 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 kills but obviously use this in an aggressive manner don't play too scared with it it's op guys thank you so much for watching today's video this is a video to help out people who definitely needed to learn something new about the game or was struggling in certain areas and i hope this really helped you out drop a like comment down below subscribe to the channel don't forget i'm live on twitch.tv apathy pretty much every day so come tune in I'll catch you guys in the next one.